lot of our female inmates that come in, the majority are prostitutes. The other crimes that we have that are really common are DUI and drugs. Usually if it's their first time, we really have to keep an eye on them because they are a lot more unpredictable and we have to handle that as quickly and swiftly as possible. Nice costume. Thanks. What are you? A cat, or was a cat. A cat. You were a cat? No tail? <laughs> no tail. Anything in your bra? No. What are you in here for tonight? Oh, I hit my boyfriend. You hit your boyfriend? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because he tried to leave me stranded. I have a temper, and I got angry and slapped him. Just like a cat? Over this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go the whole way down and sit in the last, we'll sit beside the female that you came in with. So what's up with the fat woman? Well, she was at a local club down at the Hard Rock. Had a little too much to drink and decided to slap her boyfriend. She couldn't claw her way out of this one. You were just in here. What? You couldn't stay out of trouble. No, well, I, I did. What did she get arrested for? Trespassing, possession of dangerous weapon on school property. What'd you have? A knife I always carry on me. Well, you can't have it on school property. Well, I didn't know that. All right, Blondie. That's her name, Blondie? Oh, yeah. 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 We got legally married. When did you do? When, when did you get married? Set through twenty eight. Come on. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and sit in the last chair down there, Ron. Yeah. Hey, don't get that plane, honey. Your husband's getting arrested for trespass and then also probation violation. Okay. You just met your husband? Yeah. All right. Stand on the line. Face the wall. I love you. I'm actually surprised she got married. Take the jacket off. Well, the good thing is that charge won't hold you for too long, so. Yeah. You don't have any warrants, do you? Yes. Well, then you might be here a little longer if you have warrants. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good possibility. Yeah. All right, come on. Have a seat on the last chair. I made contact with her and her husband about a month and a half ago. Uh, they were up at a school sleeping just downtown here. I uh, told them that they had to leave. I came back today. Uh, they were both there again, so I stopped them. Um, I get her into a him in a custody for trespassing. She has a long history of meth use, um, and she's 43 years old. Wow. All right, thanks. All right, uh-huh. What'd you have the knife for? Protection. You guys always know that, that when I come here, I have that knife for my protection. Because Is it a I, big one? No, it's a bigger, bigger one like that, OK? Because I have more seizures. You have and, seizures? Yes, and I can't fight like I used to. And my baby not being there. How old are you? How old are you? I don't know. Honestly. I'm no. asking you. No, didn't get You look like you're 35. Yeah, right. I'm 43. Wow. What kind of drugs? What's your favorite drug? Meth. Meth? It lasts longer. It lasts yeah. longer. How's it, how's it make you feel? Perfect. All right, Blondie. OK. Hector, do you do drugs with her? Or? No, don't do drugs, period. You don't? No. You going to help her try and get off of it? I, what do you think I'm doing? Is that what you've been doing? Yeah. You haven't seen her here in quite a while, have you? Mm, I haven't, no. Yeah, that's why. So how long have you known Blondie? A couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. yeah. She's a really good, she's a beautiful person, really. Well, it sounds like you're pretty good for her, a Hector. Well, I want to get her to California. we got to get out of this godforsaken city-ass yeah. town, you know? Yeah, that sounds like a plan, Hector. It is. Maria! Have you ever been arrested before? No. No? So, what happened last night? Oh, well, my boyfriend... Spread your feet. Um, he tried to leave me at Hard Rock, and I was like, I drank a little bit, and, and I got upset because he, like, kept ignoring my phone calls because he thought I was, like, dancing with some guys. So he left because he thought you were with another guy? Yeah, and then I saw him, and I just got upset go and hit him. Where would you hit him? I slapped him in the face. You didn't scratch him with no. your little cat claws? No. <laughs> no. I just hit him, and then the bouncer saw, and, you know, he was like, oh. Did he want you to get arrested? No, he wanted me to get... your hands across your chest? He wanted me to get kicked out or something. How long have you guys been together? Almost a year. Almost a year? And you're down here from where? Seattle. When do you have to go back? Uh, tonight. <laughs> tonight? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take you back behind this curtain and we're going to take off your costume. Did you guys ever fight like this before? Well, yeah. All right. Come on over here. 
Okay, you're gonna sit on the right hand side. Don't get up unless you hear your name called or you raise your hand and get permission, okay? <coughs> you have to raise your hand and get permission from the officers oh. that are working out here, okay? Good luck. Come on, Blondie. Stand right here. Let's see. How many times do you think you've been here? Don't, don't say it, don't. <laughs> Holy smokes. How many times? 43. Uh-huh. Wow. This way. All right, Blondie. I'm going to sit you right here in this row, uh -huh. okay? Don't get up unless you hear your name called, okay? All right, good luck, Blondie. She just got married, so hopefully uh, that'll straighten her up and uh, we won't be seeing her too much as we have in the past. When are you supposed to go back to work? I was actually supposed to go tomorrow. <laughs> Well, yeah. Maria, good luck. Thank hope everything you. works out. Yes, I hope so too. Maybe you uh, should get some anger management classes so you don't hit anymore. Or I should just stop drinking, period. <laughs> There's a thought. Try that. Yeah. Good luck with that. She's paid her bail. She'll be able to get out and go home and fly back to Seattle tonight, and hopefully she'll learn her lesson. Metro for just under a year. I've been down in booking for almost six months now, and I prefer it. It's faster pace. People come in. Some are still extremely angry with the police, and we have the same uniform as the police officers do on the street, so they want to take their anger out on us. Ladies, right down here, please. Face the wall. Ma'am, you can go ahead and just have a seat right here. I'll get to you in one second, okay? What are you in here for? Burglary. Burglary? Supporting the heroin habit? How long have you been on heroin? About six years. Six years, and you're how old? 20. And your brother as well? Yeah, right there is my brother. Where are your parents? My dad, he's in prison for 13 years, and he got out like uh, 11 months ago. Just he's, recently? Yeah, now he's back in prison now. What's I going to take? Uh, this, I guess. Me and my brother both need all the same time. Oh. oh. And your brother, how long is he? Been, how old is he? Are you older than me. You're older, and he's been doing heroin for the same amount of time? Was he on anything else or just weed and heroin too? No, he was speeding. You said you stole a Red Bull, as in what? The drink? Yeah, we stole, yeah, cases of Red Bull. Oh, cases of Red Bull. From where? Gas station. From a gas station? So that you could try to resell and. Yeah. Go ahead and slip your shoes on. A lot on. of crooked There are a lot of crooked smoke shots. Smoke shot by all the way. I can wear these. So you're saying that you resell the cases of Red Bull to smoke crooked shop. smoke shops yeah. to support your heroin addict, yeah. uh, habit. Wow. Can I wear these shoes? Yeah, of course. That's what I gave them back to you for. Thank you. All right, moves. In the row. No, no, this row, the last row. Seat, OK? All right. It was a petty larceny. So they call us, and they say that they stole some two cases of Red Bull. Red Bull, yeah. So they come running out with the cases, they get inside the car, they take off in the car, and the car dies on them. So now they're pushing the car. So after that, they start confessing. They probably stolen anywhere from two to $3,000 worth of retail. energy drinks in the last week. Since last Friday. Where they were at tonight, they had hit the store twice. Yeah, twice today, once in the morning, once at. It's amazing what drugs can make you do. Who was going to hit the same store try, oh, twice yeah. in a row? That's okay. That's drugs for you. Thank you. Michael, that's your sister back there, huh? She's your younger sister or older? Younger. You guys, she said you guys are both on heroin. How long have you been doing heroin? Six years. For six years, too? Did you guys both start around the same time? Who introduced you guys into heroin? Her friend. Her friend? Her boyfriend. Oh, uh, her boyfriend. Is she still with this guy? No. What is your habit like? Because I know when you, when you come into jail, you generally detox, you go back out, and you start over again. It takes less amount to get you really high, right? Two to three hundred dollars a day. Two to three hundred dollars a day. Now, is that two to three hundred dollars a day for both you and your sister, or per? Yeah. Or just you? You've been here before, so you know the drill. It's probably gonna be a little while out here. Then they're gonna take you into the other side where they'll take everything off. Okay. If you start feeling sick, let us know. Okay. In the front row, right? Hey, be good. Front row. 
He actually pulled up right next to me. He was like, hey, just, you know, tell my tell my friend Officer Radich. I said, hi. He said, oh, okay. No problem. I said, what's your name? He said, Sam. He just drives off. But I run the plate, and it comes back stolen. Well, oh. Yeah, so... Uh, we ended a bright up, one. Yeah, so by the time I got the stolen, the stolen hit back on the, on the uh, computer, he was gone. We couldn't find him. Uh, and so today, you know, a couple weeks later, here we are. He's, you know... Uh, Sit down. He's actually one of the, uh, the suspects we arrested on the domestic violence today, so... Uh, he'll be looking at those other charges for possession of a stolen vehicle. He said that you rolled up and asked for him to say hello to a friend for you in a stolen vehicle. That's right. Did you know the vehicle was stolen? Yes, I knew it was stolen. <laughs> at least he's on. At least you're honest. They all know me. That's why that happened. Yeah. I've been stopped a thousand times. When did you steal that vehicle? I didn't. I mean, I didn't steal it. It was stolen. I didn't steal it myself. Oh, you knew it was stolen. Yeah. Though. You just. But I'm saying, uh, that was that was about. Uh, I had it for a whole a whole month. You happy? You be in jail? You seem really excited. I'm not happy in jail, but I. You've been arrested before? Yes, I have. How many times you've been here? To this jail right here? Yeah. I've been here ten times. Ten times? Yes, ma'am. And where else have you been arrested? In California, in Arizona, <laughs> Texas. Why are you living here? In Las Vegas, this is a hustler's paradise. A oh, dream yeah? come true. What do you do for a living, Sam? I sell drugs. You sell drugs? Yes. What kind of drugs? First time, okay. I'm honest. Yeah, I see that. You're you very honest. Mad for that. No, I'm not mad at you for that. I'm mad at you for selling drugs. I spend the money with other businesses, so I help, I'm helping other folks, not just myself. Is no, that what you tell money. yourself? That's You're helping the economy, huh? Helping the economy, man. By spending money. Spending money, I give back. What types of walks of life do you sell to? I don't discriminate. Money is money. They call me the money man. Well, you have to use some of that money to bail yourself out. Oh, that ain't the problem. You see, I'm not tripping. I'm happy. I'm not I tripping. I see that. You're very happy. Do you I ever do any of your own product? Um, I have in the past, yes, ma'am. What kind of drugs you done? I smoke marijuana every day. All right, well, you know what? I would say good luck, but I don't like what you do, man. Come on. Thank you. I'm sure we'll see you again. Very uh, narcissistic. Cares only about himself. As long as he makes his money, he's fine.